kind of shows. They're always very colourful and fun and the clothes are beautiful. I saw this amazing exhibition at the Tate last year and it was pre-Raphaelite painters and I was so excited to see it. I made a special trip to London and they're really my all-time favorite painters. So I thought, why not do a collection inspired by them? So I'm backstage at Anasui, and the look is a very kind of psychedelic, free Raphaelite. There's two looks, one with beautiful blush on the eyes and the cheeks, and a beautiful kind of a blush stain on the lips, gold highlights on the inner corner and on the cheekbones, and tons of mascara on the top and bottom. And then also for a few girls, four girls, they're going to have a beautiful blue paint. That's a psychedelic element. We went through these old drawings that Anna had collected, and I decided that we would wave all the hair and actually make the hair longer than most girls have cut their hair. We did the waving with a waving iron, and it sort of became kind of a between surreal, hippie, and grunge with a very, very kind of pre-Raphaelite feeling to it. I'm really excited about Anna's cosmetic line. I love her packaging. I mean, this is, this is radical. A nice little rouge. She has the most amazing packaging. We decided to use the inspiration of Art Nouveau and also like my whole love of like Bohemian style to create La Vie de Bohème. Like we'd never had done a fragrance inspired directly from the fashion that way. I got the new one, a sweet perfume in my hand. Let me smell it. Flowery, fruity a little bit. I love it. The new fragrance reminds me of a summer's day. I'm so lucky to work with Karen Erickson because she is just such a genius when it comes to jewelry. She looks at my fabric swatches and actually like almost paints with jewelry. so beautiful, I'm still kind of swept up in it all. I felt like you were in a whole other world watching it and it was very beautiful.